everyone, Lucy here from Learn With Lucy. Today I'm going to do a run through of Google Analytics with you so I can show you the most useful information that you can quickly see at a snapshot in Google Analytics. So to get to Google Analytics, you go to www.google.com forward slash analytics and once you log in, you'll get to this dashboard here. So on this dashboard over here on the uh, right hand side, you can see that uh, the active users right now, so at the moment I've got three people on this website, which as an example, I'm using uh, dillycakes.co.nz, which is an online edible gift store. So at the moment, there's three people on the website, and I can see already right here what pages those three people are on. So they're on the home page, so this dash is the home page, which is just dillycakes.co.nz, and then I've got one person here on the franchise areas page. Now I've got four people on there. So here you can see in the last seven days, we've had 314 users on the website and 411 sessions. So what that means is 314 people have looked at this website 411 times. So this is the amount of times and this is the number of people. Straight away here, you can see the bounce rate, the overall bounce rate of the website, which we'll talk about a little bit later on, and how long people are spending on the website. So three minutes and 38 seconds is a pretty good amount of time for what the type of website is, so that's pretty good. Here you can change the time period, so if you just want to look at the last month or 14 days, whatever, you can set that here. But this is just the dashboard, so let's look a little bit deeper now. So in the audience section, the things that I look at here are demographics. So if we click overview, it's going to bring up obviously a really quick over overview and it's bringing up at the moment October. So if we want to change that, let's just say September to today. Today's the 13th of November. I'm recording this. So I'm just going to select that time period. So here we can see that 87% of my users were female and 12% were male. So those are the people that looked at my website. You can also see over here on the age side that the majority of users on dillycakes.co.nz are around the 25 to 34 and not much lower is 35 to 44. So that's good to know. So I can target my marketing and uh, etc. my social media, my ads, everything like that. I know who to target. So mainly my female audience and maybe ma mainly in that age bracket there. So that's a really good snapshot of information that's quite useful. And then if we scroll down over here, let's take a look at Geo. So if we click on location, this is going to bring up where your visitors live. So where they're visiting your website from. So I'm based in New Zealand and this website is a store, so we only ship in New Zealand. So it's not surprising that the majority of users have come from New Zealand. So if I click on New Zealand, you can see the cities that people are coming from. So where our biggest areas are Christchurch, well, sorry, Christchurch, Wellington and Auckland, and that's what you can see in this map here. So here we've had 847 people visit from Auckland in that time period that we selected before followed by Wellington as the second and Christchurch the third. So that's really cool information that you can see right there as well. So let's keep moving on. In mobile you can see if I click on overview just how many people are coming to the website via mobile or a tablet or a desktop and that's useful to know so I can make sure that my website looks okay on mobile because as you can see over half are coming to my website on their mobile so I want to make sure that it looks how I want it to look, it's user friendly and it does its job on a mobile. If we keep looking through, the next thing I look at is acquisition. So acquisition is where people are finding your website, where they're coming from to get to your website. And this is really interesting to know. So if I click on all traffic and source medium, so the majority of people that are coming to dillycakes.co.nz are actually coming from Google. So that's really good. That means I'm doing something right with my search engine optimization. And uh, that's, that's a really good number. So I've got 1,881 users coming through Google in that time period, which was 1st of September to the 13th of November. Then we've got 997 people coming direct. So those are the people that have typed in www.dillycakes.co.nz into their browser, or they may have saved my website to their favorites tab, or anyhow like that, they're coming directly to the website. Then you've got m.facebook, which is people looking on mobile on Facebook. And then you've got, we did a treat me deal, so that's coming up there, um, as well as a couple of other referrals there. 
So that shows your 10 most popular referrals to your website. If you want to see more, you can just click down here and select, say, if I wanted to see 50, that's going to bring up all these referrals down here. So that's really useful information to know as well. So if we want to take that a step further and we want to know what keywords people are typing into Google that is bringing up. So these 1,881 people obviously have come from Google. So if we want to know what keyword they've typed into Google to get to this website, we're just going to click on keyword up here. And that's going to bring up a list of keywords. So the top one nearly 99% of the time comes up at the top and that is not provided and what provided is is when people are logged into the, their Google account like Gmail or um, etc Google protects their data and hides it um, to, to protect them so that's not going to show us what keywords they've typed in obviously they haven't actually put not provided into Google um, but that's hiding that data the not set underneath that's people that have come through either Google Ads previously AdWords and clicked on a page that's come or an ad that's come to my website or they've clicked on a Google image that's come to the website so these are things like in Google but not keywords then you can see I've got Dilly Cakes, Dilly Cakes, Dilly Cakes etc and then people Amazon that's a weird one but um, so these are the keywords that people are typing in to get to your website the other thing to look at on this page is the bounce rate and what the bounce rate is so that's the people that only look at that one page on your website and then leave again so they're coming in on a website onto your website and then they're leaving again without looking at any further pages so they're just looking at the one page so ideally you want that to be under 50 percent um, unless it's a landing page that there's nowhere further to go um, so we're looking down here for for the low bounce rate um, words so when they're searching dilly cakes only 28% of people come onto the website and leave straight away so what this looks for is the relevancy of the keyword um, so if you've got a keyword that's got a really low bounce rate it means when people are searching that and come across your website they're happy with what they've found um, it relates to the keyword if you've got a one that's a high uh, bounce rate for example the Amazon they've come to my website via um, searching for Amazon obviously it's nothing related to Amazon so they're leaving again so that makes sense so that's something to keep an eye on here as well also the pages per session so here you can see when people are searching for dilly cakes they're looking at almost five pages as they come onto the website so that's really good um, that's a really high number if they're looking at one page <laughs> obviously that was the, with the bounce rate they just left straight away um, so that's something to keep your eye on as well as well as duration so one of the big things with um, Google and SEO is people uh, Google are prioritizing the searches that have a low bounce rate and a a, um, a good session duration because that's relevant to what the people are searching for so if you've got someone say if one of my keywords one of my keywords is edible gifts or edible flowers so if someone searches that they come to the website they look at quite a few pages they're spending quite a while on there Google's gonna say oh okay Dilly Cakes is relevant when people search for edible gifts or edible flowers so I'm gonna show that to more people but for example they've come from Amazon it's got a high bounce rate it's got a low pages per session and it's got a low time okay well Google's not going to show anyone who types in Amazon my website again so these are all things to keep in mind when you're doing your search engine optimization as well all right let's move on so the next thing um, that I look at here there's so many different things in Google Analytics that you can look at but today I'm just going over the real basics that's good for you to know and it's going to help you out so I'm going to click on behavior site content and all pages so this breaks down all the pages that people are looking on in my website so again that dash that's the home page so that's the most popular page and then obviously you can see all the pages that we've got here this is the checkout so um, and same thing so page views unique page views so um, for example if you come onto my website and you look at the edible flowers page you're counted here so if you come back onto the edibles flower page tomorrow then you're going to come up to as two over here and one over here so that's how that's dif differentiated um, again so for each page we can see the number of people how long they're spending on the website entrances is how many people came direct to that website so that was either through Google or Facebook or another link um, 
bounce rate again we talked about that before so they're coming onto that page and they're leaving that page without even looking at any other pages so we don't want that to be too high so that this is quite high here and um, if I saw this number here I probably want to look into why that's so high um, as I said before you want it to be about under 50% depending on what the purpose of the page is if it's a landing page, if it's um, there's no further place to go, you, all the information's on that page, then you'd expect that to be high. But as this type of page, that's quite high, and that's probably a bit of a red flag there. This one's nice and low, um, as is this one here. So that's the bounce rate. Exit rate, so you'd expect a high exit rate on a contact page. So what exit rate is, is those are the pages that people are leaving your website on. So generally people would go through your website, look at all the pages, go to the contact page and get your details to be able to contact you and then they'd leave again. So you always expect a high exit rate on a contact page. So at the moment showing the top 10 pages, again I can click here and bring up all the pages um, that we want to see. So again, really useful information here. Up here on the graph you can see I obviously did a bit of a promotion over this time period. And then we can change the time period over here. So if I wanted to do from May to today, you can see the ebbs and flows of uh, traffic, which is um, quite interesting. So that's a really quick overview of Google Analytics. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, as I said before, the menus over here, we've got audience, which is the information about the people that are coming to you. You've got acquisition, which is how they're getting to you, how they're finding you. And then you've got behavior, which is what they're doing on your website. So three really important key factors. Um, and it's important to look at your analytics so you can see what's going on, what you may need to do a bit differently, how you can use your marketing in the best way, search engine optimization, <laughs> etc. So there you go. Let me know if you've got any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. See ya.